The Book of Boba Fett, Season 1, Episode Number 4. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of Book of Boba Fett, getting closer and closer to season finale, I think. We only got, let me double check. Oh, there's seven episodes in this show. Okay, I thought we had six. Okay, I was gonna say we only got two more after this, but we got three more, that's a little bit of a surprise. Still short, but you know it is what it is. Regardless, we're here to next week's episode, man, last week. Great episode. I'm loving the show so far, man. I, I, I genuinely am. I love where we're going with this. We had the Pikes show up current day. You know, we were seeing them in the flashbacks a little bit. And now the mayor kind of, from what I understand, made a deal with them. And they're here. You know, it seems like Boba Fett, he's kind of building up his building up his crew a little bit. You know, obviously we had Finnick from Mando with him. Then when we got started this show, he got the two pigs on his side by sparing their life. And then he got this new group. I think uh, it happened last episode, this new like retro kind of group. I don't, I forget if they had a name given to them or not, but we got them with us now. Um, the Wookiee, uh, Chrysanthemum, I think is his name. Badass as hell. He didn't join our group, but his life was spared by Boba Fett. So I'm kind of curious if he's going to come back into play. Because I talked about it last week, you know, with this war with the Pikes starting, it's not some little couple people type shit. Like, the Pikes, there's some serious business, man. So we're going to need some good fighters and a lot of them. So I hope, I hope Chris Santin comes back into this because, dude, I, like, he was only in it for two episodes. But his design is so badass. And you guys are telling me, he's like a, he, he's known pretty well in the comics. You know, this is his first live action appearance, I think, but he's known pretty damn well in the comics. And I can see why, dude is badass. We've seen him fight a little bit. I just feel like they did a great job with his design. Regardless, I hope he's not gone from the show permanently. I hope he does come back. But guys, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you guys want to see the next video, drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this episode. I'm collecting on behalf of the Tuscans of the Dune Sea. The Kintan Striders have already collected protection money for the same territory you lay claim to. They wiped him out, man. That shit was sad. More flashbacks. Mm. He's like, fellow brother. <laughs> Bro, the horns on those things are insane. Mmm. He pulled up to Jabba's palace back then? So he was scoping this place out way back then. Well, I mean, this is all after the pit, so Job is dead at this point. Maybe he was hoping it was abandoned. Today, oh that tail wagon and everything. Here you go. Bro, the only thing is, like, that wasn't even a snack for him, bro. That's like a breadcrumb. Like, I wonder how much those things eat, bro. How big are their stomachs? Sun coming out of space. I thought that was a light shining at him. At first, I was gonna be like, "Is that Finnick?" Or is that when he is that when Mando shot the thing up with Grogu? Or no? That's when Finnick. This is how he found Finnick. <laughs> what a good start, bro! I love the theme song for it too. For Book of Boba Fett, it's great, man. Bro, Boba Fett, he's really a, uh, like, I don't know. I never, I guess I never really had a huge opinion on kind of him as a person. But like, you see, he's a caring person, bro. He saves people's lives. He spared people's lives. I mean, I know he's a bounty hunter and stuff. And you can argue either way. But we've seen him multiple times spare someone's life he didn't have to or save somebody he didn't have to. Like, Boba's definitely, I think he, he I said it last week, but I think he, he's taken over as number one over Cad Bane. Mmm. 
Okay. This is where people come to get enhanced. This is probably the only place you could bring her to be saved. She needs modification. No walk-ins. Appointment only. Woman is about to die. Money talks. Well, you should have started with that. Yeah, like I said, bro. I don't know if anybody nowadays is just choosing to move to stuff like this. I don't think so, but I feel like I wouldn't be surprised to see in my lifetime, right? Maybe not to this degree, but definitely smaller enhancements. It's just so weird seeing the side of things, bro. I mean, I guess like with Vader, you seen him get his hand chopped off and he got a metal one, but I mean, it's because he had his arm chopped off or hand, right? Same thing with Luke. So, I mean, I guess this type of thing has always been around. We just never really seen these specific people, right? Like they feel so retro for the Star Wars universe. It's done. Jeez, bro. So her entire... Bro, her entire stomach area. Aren't you gonna close her up? Cover all that beautiful machinery. Dude, I didn't realize, did we know that about Finnick? Like I knew she had been saved and whatnot, but like, I didn't know. Did we ever see this, that part of her? You were dying of a gut shot. I saved your life. <laughs> That's gotta be a scary sight to see when you wake up. <sighs> what did you do to me? I brought you to a mod parlor on the outskirts of Moss Eisley. It was the best I could do under the circumstances. <laughs> you are Master Assassin Fennec Shand of the Midrim. He knows her. I take it I'm worth more alive, huh? You are. I'll pay double my bounty. I don't want money. She doesn't know who he is yet, huh? Who are you? I am Boba Fett. She knows that name, though. Boba is dead. I was left for dead on the sands of Tatooine. I was rescued by the sand people. Speed bikers defeated Tuscans? That's highly unlikely. With the help of the pikes. I want you to help me. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. If the ship is yours, why don't you just ask for it back? Because I might not like the answer. He might tell him no or tell him he has to work for it. My armor, I'm less persuasive. If I help you, my debt is paid. If that is what you wish. Mm. But she ended up staying with him, obviously. Probably holds respect high for him. I mean, she knows... It. She knows... Everybody knows Boba Fett in this universe, man. Right? Did they ever explain how much time passed between when he was in the Sarlacc pit and got out to current day? I mean, I know current day, we're in Mandalorian time, but I just know Mandalorian's like post episode six. What's next for you? I'm gonna find my armor. And he did. And I'm gonna kill that bloated pig who double crossed me. You wanna head a Gatra? Why not? You're a hunter. I'm tired of working for idiots who are gonna get me killed. The Tuscans took me in. Made me part of their tribe. I was ready to leave hunting behind. Mm. People like us don't get to decide when we're finished. Not when you're that good and have that big of a name, right? Bro, Bobo was ready to settle down, man. That's so sad. That was like his family, you know? The throw punch. Okay, quick and easy. Bro, it's such a weird layout for the ship. You know what I mean? Like the way you're sitting when it's landed and then how you're up sh upright when you're flying and stuff. It's cool, but it's different. He's going to end up saving her again, huh? It's a 
Lisa, get in! Get out of here! Damn. Bro, that's such a cool shot. Oh no. This boy gonna jump on there, isn't he? Bro, I'll tell you, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is so nice to see in this. That was a dope shot, man. Dude, you see what I mean? Now we're upright. God, it's got to feel so good for him being back in that, huh? Man, the things Boba has survived, huh? Wow. Next time, we stick to the plan. Next time. Next time. So we can rock together for a bit. Where would you like to be dropped? Where are you headed? I have a few scores to settle on. I'll go for the ride. Said I ain't got nothing better to do. Two badass bounty hunters traveling together, man. Who gonna stop them? You know what I mean? Like, oh, they're such a crazy duo, dude. You know? Oh, so did he, he end up coming back out here for the, uh, the Sand Riders? To get his revenge for the Tuscans. Yep, look at Bobo back there in his ship. Yep. Yep. Look at that, man. Wow, what a shot. Dude, it looks so good, man. I mean, I know it's Disney and the amount of money they have at this point, it's like all their stuff should look good, but dude, it looks so good. The Sarlacc Pit. That's where I was trapped all those years ago. That's where I'll find my own. Oh, so it's been a number of years. It's dissolved. Not Beskar. Yeah, Beskar don't get destroyed. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Motherfucker said, bring that ass here. You better start blasting. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, is that one of those charges? Fire in the hall. Bro, that's one of those crazy ass charges, isn't it? Yeah. Holy shit. That's that Django Fest shit. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, he technically settled that score because he killed the motherfucker that tried to eat him. So that thing's dead. Next time, don't touch my buttons. <laughs> I don't care that you saved me. My armor was in there. God, he's covered in it. Oh, junk. You're burning. It's not safe in there. My armor's not down there. It served its purpose. It saved you from the acid. What you need to find is a back to tank. Yep, and he did end up finding one. That's his little healing tank he's in now, right? You can only get so far without a tribe. Yep. So I keep saying, man, everybody needs somebody in life, man. No matter how much you want to be alone, no matter what you think you can do by yourself, everybody needs somebody. It's that post credit scene shit, man. I'm glad they showed this again. I was just thinking earlier in this episode that I wanted to see it now. That was a dope cut, too. Yep. Boba Fett walks in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Dude, I feel bad for them, but I love it. I remember your years in the pit. I've never seen a more impressive display of martial prowess. 
And you were a legend in the name. Chrysanthemum drew crowds by the thousands. Bulba said he was in the pit. Was he in the pit, the fighting pit for them? I will wipe your debt off the books. Mm. My man in the back was <laughs> looking like he wanted to see him smash him. Nip his arm off. Bro, I mean, so, but it's like those Trandoshans, he's got money, he don't care. Those Trandoshans, I mean, maybe they weren't directly involved with what was going on with him, though, but, like, I guess it's not even because they hunt Wookiees, it's more so because, you know, he was in the pits for so long, right? He said he was a gladiator in the pits. Looks like you could use a job. <laughs> Dude. I'm so happy. I have no designs on any of your territories. I ask for no tribute or quarter, and I expect to give none either. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. We make many credits from the sale of spice in our territories. And why do you deserve to be the daimyo? What prevents us all from killing you and taking what we want? The fact that you can't. Yep, that's his new baby. There's one down there again. There wasn't after Luke took him out. He gets a little hungry. Please, sit. Does that answer your question? Master Garfolokwox asks what it is that you are proposing. I am proposing that all the families of Mos Espa join in a defensive alliance until the Pike Syndicate is vanquished. They have only challenged your territory. How long till they expand to your territory? I will vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. I will make the streets safe again. So all in this room can prosper. All I ask in return is that you remain neutral if the Pike Syndicate approaches you to betray me. Mm. He's trying to be a good leader, man. He doesn't even want to be a leader. He just wants an alliance, you know? And not even an alliance. Just stay neutral if you ain't going to join me. You ain't even got to do nothing. Will be acceptable. <laughs> Master Garfolokwox finds this acceptable as well. I abide. I mean, y'all literally don't have to do anything. It's basically either Boba's going to win and you guys will be good and chill or Boba's going to lose and you hope that the Pikes don't expand to your territory, right? But I mean, if they're expanding here, how long till they come to your guys' territory too, right? Like, think. Ah, dude, I'm so glad Chrysanthemum did join Boba Fett's team, man. How much treasure do we have in reserve? I have plenty of credits. What I'm short on is muscle. Credits can buy muscle. If you know where to look. Yeah, but you also want to make sure that it's loyal muscle. You know? Oh, sh Ooh, bro! Don't tell me Mando showing up! Bro, are we getting Mando? Is he gonna pull up here and book a Boba Fett? I mean, it would make sense, because at the end of the day, he is still a bounty hunter. He's doing stuff for money. <laughs> Fuck, that's the end. You bitch. Stop playing with me. I'm telling you, stop playing with me. Mando, Mandalorian. He gonna show up, man. <laughs> Book of Boba Fett, season one, episode number four is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna let the credits roll so I can watch this amazing fucking concept art. But what an episode, man. Episode four is in the books. Fin Finnick looks so different in the concept in the concept art. I mean, I guess a lot of times everybody kind of does, but her more specifically. Um, so the mods is what they're calling the people. I don't know if they call them that last episode or not, but the mod is what we're calling this new group that Boba Fett uh, kind of brought in. Damn, that concept art for Chrysanthemum looks dope too. So with Chrysanthemum, I wonder if it's, he just hates Trandoshans because either A, they hunt Wookiees for their pelts, or if it's only because of the fact that B, they had him in the pits, right? That he, They said last episode he was a gladiator, a warrior. Um, I don't know if that was prior to the huts or if that was during his time with the huts or what. 
Um, maybe the Huts got him out of there and he was working for them. But dude, Chris Santin is badass, man. He's he's got to be my favorite new character in the show, right? Boba Fett and Finnick don't count because they've been around. I think Chris Santin's my favorite new new to me character because I know you guys said he's been in the comics and everything like that. So I know he's not a new to the universe, but new to me and new to live action. Dude is just so badass, man. I absolutely love uh, love his design. The all black, he looks super dope. His kind of gladiator gear he has on and everything, which makes sense obviously too. But it's cool to see he did finally join the team, man. You know, I was hoping he would last episode when he walked away. I was like, ah, maybe he's going to be like a... Maybe he would be like a final, like, like a last resort type thing, like when, when you really need somebody to come through and maybe you got a lot of money to pay him. But I mean, I guess this episode, you know, just just kind of bringing him back. You know, he gave him his freedom last episode. And then this episode, not only does he come to offer him a job, but he offers him payment as well. So it's like he gave you your freedom for free after you tried to kill me. And now I'm going to pay you to come work for me if you want to. You know, it's like he's doing it of his own free will. I love the way Boba Fett rules, man. And it's like, they say the best leaders are the ones who don't want it. And he doesn't really want to be a leader or anything like that. He just, want to make, he just wants to make this place safe again. Like he literally said it. I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a ruler. You know what I mean? Just because I sit on that chair. I just, you know, I just, I don't want the Pikes to take over this planet to destroy it. You know, to continue to drain it. Right? And it's cool to see that, man. Like Boba Fett is definitely my favorite bounty hunter at this point, man. Before it was Cad Bane. But we're learning more and more about Boba Fett. We're seeing his character more and more. Because before this, I didn't really have a huge opinion on him as a person. Like, I thought he was a cool bounty hunter and everything like that. But, you know, I've seen him throughout Clone Wars as, a, as Kid Boba and things like that. We obviously seen him in, in the original trilogy and stuff. But we never really got to know him, know him up until, like, The Mandalorian and now. And it's so cool to see it and see, you know, how he kind of thinks and operates. And I get, you know, all the stuff he's been through in life has changed him and affected him, especially, you know, joining the uh, Tusken Raiders and kind of having a little family, so to speak, right? And realizing, you know, you need people in your life. And that's a good life lesson, man. You know, um, people, there's people out there that feel like, you know, all I need is me. I, I don't need nobody else. You know, I'm good. I'm good by myself. And that may be true for the time being, but everybody needs somebody, man, whether it's family, friends everybody needs somebody man you know what i mean like that's that's one thing i've learned in life you can do a lot of stuff on your own you can make it a, uh, you, you can make it to, to a certain point on your own but bro everybody needs somebody in their life at one at, at one point or another you know even if it's for the s simplicity of conversation or a connection you know you can't be alone forever you can't block everybody out forever and it's cool to see you know finnick finnick and him how they kind of met each other so to speak right him saving her and everything i don't know if they ever showed that she was like that right i think that's the first time we've seen that she was like that like all metal inside and stuff like i knew boba fett saved her and everything but i didn't know exactly what went down with her you know so i don't know if they've ever showed that in the rest of the series the first couple episodes i don't think so because i'm pretty sure her little robe whatever she wears always covers that part of her um, but it's, it's crazy to see that, man, you know, imagine waking up and looking down and seeing your insides like that, bro. She was pretty calm for seeing her insides like that. I mean, she, she felt normal and stuff. So I'm sure that's why, but bro, if I woke up, if I was unconscious, I woke up and I looked down and I see that I'm freaking out, man, you know, but it's cool to see how they didn't meet each other. It's cool to see him go back and settle a score with the sand riders and everything like that. And I mean, like, I hear people complain, when, when, when I hear people complain about the show, the main thing I hear them complain about are the flashbacks, you know, that they don't really connect to current day stuff, but, I mean, I love the flashbacks, one, just for what they are, right, seeing, seeing what happened to them and everything like that, and then two, it does connect, you know, the Pikes were involved with the stuff in the flashbacks, and I mean, I haven't wrapped up this season yet, so I don't know how this Pike stuff is going to wrap up or kind of come full circle, but it seems like it definitely is. And I, I don't know, man, I, I, I definitely love the direction we're going with the show. I've loved every episode thus far, and I'm excited to continue it. But guys, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, guys? I hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out. 
If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Shout out to you guys for the support. Much appreciated. If you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon. You get early access to stuff two, three weeks in advance to YouTube, as well as full length reactions. The link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.